Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Zenvolix channel. Today, we're building the Crossbone Gundam X Zero, another Pyrenean Bandai, and um, this time is the X Zero. That like this is the probably like the fifth or sixth Crossbone Gundam that I ever built. And anyway, I'm just gonna start opening it. And uh, as you can see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, seven packages and this time they did give us a new instruction book thank god they do actually give us one and um is is introducing uh the mobile suit uh yeah i'd rather you have i'd rather when i give us one that actually have description like this really doing a good job this time and i you actually did give us a completely new instruction book and you know i'm just gonna start opening the runners all right so i opened up all the runners so let's start looking at this so the g1 runner is a silver i believe is a pretty it's pretty shiny actually uh it's a silver runner is some uh the core fighter the waist part the backpack and some legs and shoulder part as well we got an m1 runner i believe this is a new runner we have a new vvin and we have a uh clear part for the beam effects and we have some other legs part or weapon part. Yep. N2 runner, another evac part, and some just something like M1. The M part uh, is the uh, torso and the logo. L2 runner, uh, we got a, a pair of uh, scissor clip skirt armor, and we got this connector as well. Uh, e runner is a I is a sh gloss red I think it's gloss red uh, contains some head part some um, some <clears throat> arms part and some feet part as well a runner silver uh, some guns part some ankle armor some um, wa uh, some waist part some legs some uh, and the head as well and the beam sabers B part in the frame, hands and knives. C part, uh, torso and shoulder. Uh, X2 runner, uh, backpack cross, uh, crossbone backpack and the thrusters. X1 runner, exactly the same like um, X2, but just uh, given the joint on the backpack. Lastly, G2 runner. G2 runner silver uh, is from is the crossbone weapons and backpack and also the knees armor. All right, introduction has been finished and we got a couple more. We got this clear beam effect, polycaps, a line, a stickers. Wow, that's gonna be a lot of stickers for calorie. And we got this ABC cloth, which I put it on for the fifth time. <laughs> Anyway, I'll see you at the review.
Hello, welcome back to the review of the Crossbone Gundam X Zero. I honestly, after I built, like what, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is the probably the sixth Crossbone Gundam that I ever built. I honestly uh, terrify on building crossbones anymore. I think, uh, I think I'm not gonna build any any more crossbones because I literally built this thing without reading the instruction manual. I built it too many times. I even remember how to build it, and. <laughs> Okay, anyway, just get rid of that. And uh, you know, this is just basically a crossbone Gundam X1. Uh, this, so the X0 was in the settings was a prototype for the crossbone Gundams, but for me, this looks more like it looks more powerful than the uh, other crossbone 1, 2, 3 because you know, it's because of the silver color. It so. Let's just get this dragged. Uh, it doesn't look like a prototype for me, okay? So in the setting, the X0 is supposed to be a prototype, but it doesn't look a prototype to me for the design. And uh, I have to be really uh, commend about when that is they didn't waste any part. They uh, the, so this is the actually the first premium banner that I built have no left out part, and all of them being used on the gunpla. And so you might want to spray it because uh, it's a blend silver. So you might want to paint it to metallic silver. But you know, unfortunately, I ran out of all the paints and I don't have time to go buy it. Uh, maybe off camera, I will do some repainting if I have time. And you know, I actually think the color theme looks even more look like a pilot. It, it brings the feeling of badass and. <laughs> It brings a feeling of strong. It, the color theme is really good, red and silver. But uh, there's a lot of stickers being used, and some of them I don't know why even give us stickers. And just for a notice, if you bought this any kind of Crossmon Gundam, you ex you're gonna need to expect a lot of recoloring. I'm not even kidding. And I will go through all the coloring lists and the stickers as I uh, starting to review all the movements and the accessories. So as usual, let's start with the head. So at the side of the side of the head is uh, both use a uh, white stickers. It's really unfit, so I recommend you to repaint it. But I don't have white paint. I'm running out of everything, so. I have to put it on and you know the camera uses stickers uh, doesn't really matter and before I start introducing the movement there's an other piece that you can put it on is the open mouth mode of the crossbone Gundam but I put a closed mouth mode which is the heat, uh, the heat fans in the face of the Gundam but uh, I choose to put it as the closed mode because uh, it, looks a, it looks a bit great plus uh, I don't think there's any different in this uh, blend silver color and you know start, start talking so move up move down and uh, 360 clearly no problem at all and uh, the recoloring will be at uh, the, the front of the head the forehead here there's a skull supposed to be white don't know why you can give us a separate piece but you know that's spend ice stuff so no complaint Okay, so let's talk about the hand. The hand, uh, the arms, uh, the top here is uses a white stickers. Uh, this time, surprisingly, it actually fits. Not like the other crossbow gun that I built is all uh, is unfit. But this time, uh, so let's talk about the hand. So uh, can move up pretty pretty well for the arms, and uh, you know can bend for a good angle as well. Can all the way up to the shoulders, and you know can turn around and turn around on the hand as well. And it also able to do a 360 twist as well. So arms movement are excellent. The chest piece here at the side of the chest uh, have uses two stickers here, yellow, the yellow stickers at the side. Uh, you will need as uh, the uh, black repainting on the skull sign. And basically the color separation of the uh, torso is just a white piece, a metallic red and uh, blend silvers. Uh, piece to put it together and basically it's just pretty much the same like the other crossbow Gundam nothing really nothing really need to mention for the for the movements between the waist and the uh, torso is a ball joint but you know you can move forward or back because it will gonna pop it's gonna pop down uh, so uh, it can move around 40 degrees uh, not much and the waist part here is a black large unfit um, stickers. I don't know why they give you a red piece for that. 
Uh, so this is how it goes. So the runner itself gives gives you a waist piece which is red, and then they cover it up with a dark gray piece, which is a pretty questionable uh, sticker because why not just give us a why not just give us a uh, black part because that part is really unnecessary for the stickers and you know uh, so uh, the front skirt move up very usual you can see the legs in there and side skirt can move up about very poor angle and the back skirt is high gray so you you can move legs movement uh, the leg can kick to the front uh, more than 90 degrees uh, going to the side 90 degrees as well uh, going back for about 30 degrees uh, very good movement on the legs could bend about uh, could bend for uh, uh, probably 120 110 I'm not really sure and uh, the lower leg armor is slightly movable the lower leg armor is slightly movable uh, the feet move to the side only uh, because and then there's an individual joint here that you can move the whole feet up or down next our main thing about the crossbow gun that low the X backpack so each backpack uh, connector piece thruster is movable uh, the yellow stickers on each thruster is a uh, sticker and the thruster can be foot bowed or you can be uh, or it can be connected to the uh, backpack itself so uh, and the backpack a uh, fun fact it can move around move around like this so it's a so uh, movement and movement and other things is just basically the same like the other crossbone gun plot that I reviewed a long time ago so let's check out the uh, accessory in this kit so first we get a pair of um, the Zane Buster uh, holding hand on each side and we got a extra hand for the uh, butterfly Butterfly what? Uh, I don't even remember that name. Uh, it's a something uh, Butterfly, the Butterfly weapon that uh, newly introduced in the Crossbone Gundam Zero, X Zero, and I will show you later. And the next two weapon you are really familiar with. You follow my channel. You watch all the Crossbone Gundam interviews, and uh, and you can see those two weapons being really often the uh, coming out. So it can it can turn into a Zane Buster mode, which you just have to rip off the pieces and then you put it on uh, you just reassemble the pieces and you can have a new thing buster like this you could also put both of the weapons at the side of the skirt There's some option knife, uh, two of them hand carry and two of them could be plucked at the middle of the bottom feet. So there's a little joint at the center of the feet which basically you just, all you have to do is just pluck it on and done. We all, I also have not cut off uh, some part on the runner. Uh, this is the L2 runner that I completely didn't cut off. The, the line here, you can put on the scissor claws and then you can adjust the length of the line and then you can make some cool poses with the uh, scissors skirt uh, currently I put on a normal skirt if you rip off the normal skirt and then you put on the scissors skirt uh, it will be a complete new weapon that you added on your crossbow gunner but uh, since this crossbow gunner do have a lot of weapons so I decided not to make it messy so I didn't put it on the I didn't put on the scissors skirt so this is one of the new weapon in this kit so it's a two short pistol but also you can turn it into a gigantic blade mode so as now it's just a you know normal pistol mode but if we pull out the center if we pull out the center piece and then we and then we turn and then if we turn the handle and then we put in the part so now it should become like this sorry my camera wasn't focusing um, and you can put on the blade like this very cool feature. So for more accessory, yeah, there's a lot of accessory in Crossbow Gundam. Uh, we got this two beam saber that you can store at nowhere, but you can uh, hold it for posing. And we got this new weapon. Uh, this is currently the gun mode. So I will show you how to transform it into a sword mode. So first of all, you need to pull out the pieces. Just gently pull it out. And you put it to the side. You, you rip off the center piece here. 
Just give me a second. <sighs> Gently rip it off. Please don't push it too hard, otherwise you'll break it. And now, and now you just have to put it back. Now, once you reform it, you will turn it into some kind of like an X-free weapon, and you can put on the effect parts. But uh, the 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 I always need to say though, the effect part on the crossbow kind of are extremely tight and it's extremely hard to put it on. So I'm pretty pissed off when I'm putting it on. And but you know, there's free effect part that you can put it on. So once you put all put it on, it became a pretty gigantic sword. Lastly, we got this one core fighter, and you can put on the backpack, just like uh, all the other gun, uh, all the crossbow gun plus that you can put on the X backpack on. No, you know, nothing really special. You just need to do a lot of recovering. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to say that when I was mentioning the weapons, the weapons, all of them need recovering. So have fun on recovering it. I honestly don't have the time or don't have don't have the will to uh, recovering all of them. Okay, now lastly, I'm gonna show you how to put on the ABC cloth. This is like the 20th time or the, I don't exactly remember that I put it on this for a lot of times, but I still haven't put it on correctly. Yeah, that's the issue. But anyway, I would not recommend you to keep putting it off and on because you know, because all the parts that I just rip off, so you need to rip off a couple parts, the backpack, the the uh, the uh, the arms the head with the with the powder cap off and uh, also the top of the shoulder which is pretty hard to pull it off you might accidentally break it and I would not recommend you do it first you know it's high grade so of course it's gonna be powder caps so you know powder caps soft if you keep pulling it off and putting it all putting it off and putting it on. Uh, it will cause us a damage to the uh, PC material and the polycams might broke. So I will not recommend you to keep uh, so the, here here's my suggestion. If you if you think you're gonna put uh, the ABC cloth in your shelf, put it on once and don't put it off again. Or you just you, or you can just uh, be like me, put it into the display shelf without uh, the this piece of cloth on. Anyway, I don't really like the design of this anyways on Gunplus. Of course, it's cool in the manga, but God, it's, it's very crap in, in uh, Gunplus. So first is a piece of plastic, which is extremely easy to break because, um, you know, it's eventually it will cause some kind of uh, malfunctioning. But first, uh, you do need to remember the extra hole must be at the left side when you're putting it on. So first, let's get struck. So let's get started of it. So first, you will need to put on the backpack and you know just pointing the hole and then you put it on like this so there you go and then now you close the backpack like this so now it should be flipping around like this and then you need to pointing this on the you need to point the head spot according to the hole that I just uh, mentioned that you need to put on the right side and uh, you put it on like this then you need to cross it then you will need to cross the... which part was it? I don't even remember. Uh, now, it should become like this. After you put on both arms and the and the uh, ABC clock should look like this. Uh, sorry, I didn't put on the shoulder parts because uh, the shoulder part will definitely not fit on the uh, on the ABC cloth. Uh, because the cloth is not just oh gosh I don't want even I I need to complain about this can Bandai seriously fix the cloth problem because every time I put it on um, the shoulder piece here so uh, the instructions said you need to rip off the shoulder piece here but in the end I don't even need to I don't even need to put it on because um, if I put it on it will make the gunplay didn't really move well and it just kind of ruins the meaning of putting it to the clock on but you know I I give up I give up I, I'm not trying to put this on anymore I give up uh, yeah it's a quick process if you if you like looking for some easy premium Bandai stuff uh, you can definitely choose Crossbone Gundam any kind of Crossbone premium Bandai go for it and uh, for speaking of um, you know, uh, posing and weapons. I like it. There's a lot of weapons that you can choose for posing. Uh, really good design. But it's just some parts that. But uh, this is also a pretty good mobile uh, gunplay for you to 
practicing your painting skills because a lot of art requires paint. Uh, I mean, actually, color recoloring it because you know some colors wasn't really right. And I would like to say though, I kind of feel like the colors are should be uh, coated, but it will cost more expensive, of course. But the blend, the blend silver here just look a bit weird. Uh, you should probably spray it, or that's my personal recommended. And I would like to say that, that I never seen the manga series. I never see this manga series, uh, the Crossbow Gun Ghost. Yeah, if you don't know this, uh, this gun plug came out from the Crossbow Gun um, uh, Ghost, which is a new, which is I think is the newest go uh, Crossbow Gun manga. Uh, you can. I need to catch up on that. I didn't even know the. I didn't even know the. Uh, stories in there, but anyway, that's not the point. Uh, if you are if you're looking for a quick premium Bandai build, uh, this is definitely recommended. Crossbow Gundams, really easy to build, and a lot of weapons for you to play with it. I especially like the new weapon of the uh, butterfly blade, but seriously, that <laughs> requires a lot of recovering. I'm not gonna recolor it. And yeah, last thing, I need. I always complain about this ABC clock, but and I won't listen to me anyway so this is the end of the review hope you guys like this video be sure to drop a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel for more reviews follow on my Instagram to see the newest update of my channel and I will see you next time goodbye